John, I need bananas. I'm at work. I'll order some for delivery. You know they always send the green ones. Can't you go to the store and pick some up? I really can't. I'm sorry. I hate you so much. Please don't say that. It's true. You're the reason I'm lying in bed big as a blimp. The least you could do is get me some damn bananas. Okay, I'll take an early lunch and swing by the shop. Thanks, babe. Love ya. Hello? Is this John Richmond? Please, I'm not a spammer. Who are you? My name's Joey. Can we meet somewhere? I have something I need to tell you. No offense, man, but I'm not going to meet up with a total stranger. Just tell me what this is about. Well, it's a little sensitive. It's about Andrea. My girlfriend? Yeah. I just found out. Found out what? That you two were together. I had no idea, honestly. I never would have slept with her if I'd known. You slept with my girlfriend? No. I don't believe that. You must be thinking of a different Andrea. Andrea Chang? That's her, right? <laughs> You're making this up. I wish I were. I feel so guilty about it. I'm a Christian and I do not believe in adultery. You have to believe that I'd never try to ruin someone else's relationship. How could you not have known? She's six months pregnant. Yeah, about that. What? What? It's my baby. What? When did you last sleep with her? All of last year? Jesus. Normally I don't take the Lord's name in vain, but... Yeah. Jesus. I know how upset you must be right now, so you can vent all you want. That's kind of why I wanted to tell you in person. How do you know it's yours? Because she just told me. She ended things between us a few months back, I, I guess when she was starting to show, but yesterday she told me everything. What exactly did she tell you? She said the baby was mine and I was not allowed to see it. Him. It's a boy. Yeah, what else did she say? She said that back when we were hooking up, you two were having trouble in the bedroom department and she needed me to relieve her urges. She said that? It's true, right? I guess, yeah, we were having trouble. And she said you always used protection. She said you never wanted to have kids. She told me the condom must have broke. She assured me it was mine. She lied. I can send you our text exchange. She explained everything. I can't believe it. But you do believe it, right? Yeah, this all makes sense. God! I'm so sorry. I know you loved her. That's just it. There's a reason we were having problems. I don't. I was going to break up with her, and then she told me she was pregnant. And even though she's going to give it up for adoption, I felt stuck. You're not even going to keep him? No, she didn't tell you that? Nope, she just told me I was the father and I needed to give her some money. And stay away. She threatened me, basically. She made me promise not to reach out to you. I'm glad you did. I had to. Yeah, because you felt guilty. Of course! There's another reason, too. I want to be a part of this kid's life. I want to be a father so bad. And to hear that she's not even going to keep him? I reached out to you because I wanted to reason with you and maybe one day at least meet my son. But this doesn't make sense. If you're not even going to keep him, why would she put him up for adoption instead of giving me custody? Because she doesn't want me to find out about you, I guess. Okay, God, what am I going to do? I don't know. My ex said I should just sue for custody, but that's going to be so messy. And I don't know you, but I don't want to have to put you through all that humiliation. Yeah, this is complicated. How are you feeling right now? It must be awful. I'm shocked. Horrified, really. But I want what's best for this child. Do you know who's going to adopt him? No. It'll be a blind adoption, so we'll never know. Please, you have to help me. Can you talk with her? And tell her what? That I know she's been cheating on me and I want her lover to have the baby? Well... Not in those exact words, but maybe something like that. Okay, I guess I can help you. But I would like to meet you first, just to make sure you're legit. Understandable. How about lunch today? My treat. Sure. Do you like sushi? We can meet at Maki. I love sushi. Okay, how about noon? Fine. And you're not going to beat me up when you see me? No, I promise. God, this is so weird, man. Yeah, it is. I'll see you at noon. Hey, Andrea. I won't be home for lunch today. Sorry. But you promised to pick me up some barbecue! You know I've been craving it! I ordered delivery. It'll arrive soon. Okay. Whatever. Where are you going? I'm meeting with a friend. Oh, 
can I come? I've been cooped up in the house all day. No, sorry. Is this really how you want to treat your pregnant girlfriend abandoning me like this? I'll make it up to you when I get home. Sure you will. God, you're such a disappointment sometimes. You really shouldn't talk to the father of your future child like that. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy your stupid lunch. Love you too. Thanks so much for being kind. I know this is a terrible situation for you, but you've been so understanding. Of course, it was nice to meet you, despite the circumstances. Sorry I got so emotional. It's okay. We all deserve a good cry sometimes. And honestly, I can see that you'd make a great father. Thank you. That means a lot. I just wish we'd figured out a way to handle this whole situation. Don't worry. Now that I know you, and I know more about how Andrea used us both, I promise to do what I can to make sure you get full custody. Can I ask you something? Sure. You seem like a caring, smart guy. And I really think you'd make a great dad too. So why do you agree to give up your child? Wow, that's a heavy question. You don't have to answer. I wanted to ask you at lunch, but I figured it would be too forward. Pretend I didn't say anything. No, it's a valid question. Actually, I'd love to be a dad. And I think I'd be really good at it. But I knew I didn't want to build a family with Andrea. Because you don't love her? Yeah. When she told me she was pregnant, I was happy at first, but then I realized everything that entailed. I'd have to marry her and stay with her forever and share a child with a woman that I was deeply incompatible with. So when she told me she wanted to put him up for adoption, I figured that was the easiest path to take. And once I find the right person, I'd start a family. Just not with Andrea. Wow. But you're still with her. Yeah, I kind of have to be, right? Are you planning to break up with her? Yeah. Uh, not now, though. Not while she's pregnant and needs me. And not right after she gives birth, either. That wouldn't be fair. But nothing she's done has been fair to you. I know. You're a better person than she is. Thanks. It's true. I'm going to talk to Andrea. I'll let you know what happens. And if things don't work out and you eventually sue for custody, I'll support that. Where are you? I just got home. I'm off with some friends. But it's Thursday. Yeah? You told me to get home early to give you that foot massage. Yeah, we can do that tomorrow. You can come home early tomorrow too, right? I wish you told me. I wish you were a better boyfriend. Andrea, I do everything for you. Except where it really matters. I have needs, John. I'm with a friend. Just stay home and massage yourself. Okay, I was trying to figure out the best way to approach this, but I'm just going to say it. I know I'm not the father. What? Of course you are. I know about Joey. Oops. Did he tell you? Yeah. That jackass. I'm going to make him pay. You already have. You're keeping his child away from him. It is his child, isn't it? Yes. Why won't you give him custody? He obviously wants to be a dad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You feel sorry for that guy? Well, yeah. You're not jealous that I cheated? No. God, you are not a man. At all. Why won't you give him custody? Because. Because I love you and want to protect you from the truth. Andrea, that makes no sense. You're not going to leave me, are you? I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Please, John, you wouldn't leave me while I'm pregnant, would you? No. You understand, right? I want to be with you forever and I made a mistake. Please don't be mad. I'm not. And you won't leave me? No. But I need you to do the right thing. Fine, I'll come home. I won't see my friend. I'm talking about Joey. I want you to sign over custody to him. I don't want to give our child up for adoption. I don't know. Think about it. The only reason you didn't want to give him custody was because you didn't want me to find out about you two, right? But I know. And I forgive you. And I won't leave. Now you have to do the right thing. If you don't, I won't forgive you, and I will leave. Wow, you are really messed up, you know that? Yep, that's me. So? So what? Will you sign the custody papers? Can we do this painlessly? Sure, whatever. But I need you to promise me something in return. What? That you won't leave me. That we can still be together. Andrea, do you really love me? Yes, with all my heart. I'm so sorry about Joey. Yes, I'll stay with you. You promise? I promise.
Hey, I have some news. Good or bad. She agreed to sign over custody. Once the baby's born, you'll be the sole parent. Oh my god, thank you! That's amazing! I'm... I'm literally crying right now. So, she didn't put up a fight? Not really. She obviously doesn't want to be a mother. Great! So, no catch? I promised that I wouldn't leave her. What? You agreed to stay in a relationship you hate? To stay with a woman who cheats on you? Because you wanted to help me? Oh my god, no! No, you can't do that to yourself. You're miserable. You told me that at lunch. Don't worry about it. I lied. As soon as she gives birth and the custody is official, I'm out of there. I know she doesn't love me. She just loves my money. I just have to stick it out until the end of the pregnancy. Wow. Uh, okay. We just have to make sure the custody agreement is airtight. My ex is a lawyer. I'll call him up today and see if he can drop the papers. Perfect. Sounds like a plan. Wait. You just said he. Yeah. I'm by. Actually, Andrea was the only woman I've been with for longer than a couple months. And we both know how that turned out. Joey, I need to tell you something. There's a reason I've been having trouble in the bedroom. With Andrea. I'm gay. You're gay? I wasn't able to admit it to myself until pretty recently, but before I could say anything, that's when Andrea announced that she was pregnant. Oh. I haven't told anyone else. Can I be honest with you? I'm not surprised. I kind of picked up on some vibes when we first met. You've been way too kind and understanding during all of this. A straight guy in your shoes would have hated me instantly. I don't hate you. I know. Hmm. So tomorrow I'll get the ball rolling on the custody papers. But tonight, we should celebrate. Do you want to meet for dinner? You and me? Yeah. Great. Let me know the time and place. Where are you? I'm out. Did you just get back home? You were out with your friend for a while. Yeah? Are you sure that's wise in your condition? I'm pregnant, not a hermit. Where are you? You're never out this late. I reconnected with an old friend. We had a few drinks, so I'll be spending the night at his place. Don't worry about it. Good. So it's not a female friend, is it? Nope. You have nothing to worry about. Trust me, I don't. I know you won't be able to do anything. Hi. Update time. So, the custody papers are all drawn up. She should sign them as soon as possible, but Arizona law says they won't officially go into effect until after the baby's born. Awesome. Congratulations. It's all thanks to you. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Last night was amazing. Honestly, that was my first time, you know, doing that. Wow. Could have fooled me. You were a natural. We should do it again. Absolutely. Is Andrea okay that you didn't go home last night? Yeah, she's fine. She was off doing God knows what. I think she found another guy to cheat on me with. Some loser with a pregnancy kink or something. I went straight from work to your place, so I haven't seen her. Okay, do you want to pick up the custody papers and bring them back for her to sign? I already signed my part. Sure, I'll swing by after work. Great. And maybe we can hang out a bit before you go. I'd love to. This week has been so weird, but I'm honestly the happiest that I've ever been. Honey, I just got home from work. Joey's lawyer gave me the custody papers for you to sign. Where are you? I'm out. Again? Don't get all pissy. I'll be back soon. Make sure the dinner's ready when I get back. Andrea, you need to think long and hard about how you're treating me. I know you're pregnant, and I want to make sure you're comfortable. But this last week, I found out that you've cheated on me. A lot. And I found out that I'm not the father of this child, and now I have to deal with the lawyer of your lover just because I want to do the right thing. I'm miserable because of all this betrayal. The least you could do is show some kindness toward me. You're right. I'm sorry. So come back home now and sign these papers. And I'm not going to cook. We'll order in. Okay. I miss you. I miss you too. It's been days. Can I come over? Tonight? Sure. But you don't think Andrea is starting to suspect anything? We're so close to the finish line and we don't want her finding out about us before her due date. I've got everything under control. Trust me. Hi, honey. I have so much stuff to do at work tonight. I think I'm going to pull another all-nighter at the office. Again? You know I have to get all my work done now if I'm going to be able to take my paternity leave. 
I know that's your plan, but I still don't get why you'd want to take time off then. We won't even have the baby. Because you'll be recovering, I want to take care of you. You should take care of me now. I can't do anything anymore. I can't even visit my friends. I'm a freaking whale. I know. You're agreeing with me? You're calling me a whale? That's not what I meant. No, John, you need to come home. Take your work home with you. Honey, please. Come home. Fine. I wasn't going to tell you now, but I guess I don't have a choice. There's something that I haven't told you. What? Is it another woman? No, definitely not. Then what? The reason I asked my bosses for paternity leave was because I want to take you somewhere after the birth. What do you mean? It's called a honeymoon. I want us to get married. Once the baby's out of the picture, I want us to elope and then go to Hawaii. It was going to be a surprise, but you forced me to tell you. Oh my god, John! Are you serious? I promise to stay with you forever. This will make it official. Once you have the baby and Joey gets full and unconditional custody, it'll just be the two of us. Forever. And I'm going to spoil you rotten. John! You're amazing! Yeah, sometimes I even amaze myself. How's it going? Any day now. We're all on contraction alert. Is she treating you okay? As much as she can. She's still terrible and she keeps having me do things for her. But I'm not complaining. I want our baby to be happy and healthy. You're a saint. I'm just biding my time. And every time she snaps at me about something stupid, I just bring up our future wedding and she shuts up. All things considered, this is probably the nicest she's been to me in our entire relationship. I can't believe the baby's almost here. We're gonna be dads. I know. It seems like only yesterday that you messaged me out of the blue with what should have been the worst news of my life. I had no idea that it would be the start of something so amazing. So, I've been thinking about what we talked about earlier, and I think you're right. About what? Charlie. It'll be the perfect name. John, are you still there? Joey, it's happening. Her water broke. I'll meet you at the hospital. John! Are you still at the shop? When are you coming back? It might be a while. You should rest. Well, hurry up! I'm sore and hungry! Andrea, I think we should talk. What? First of all, I want to thank you for bringing a beautiful baby boy into the world, and for honoring your agreement and letting his real father raise him. Good riddance! But, I want you to know that Joey won't be a single parent after all. What do I care? He can do whatever he wants with it! Jesus, it? That's a child you're talking about. When are you coming home? I'm not done. I'm sorry to do this to you in your delicate state, but the wedding's off. I'm leaving you. What? This is a joke, right? I found someone else. Someone who treats me right. Someone who doesn't belittle me and lie to me. Someone who actually cares about me and not my money. You're messing with me. I, I don't like this joke. It's not a joke, Andrea. Joey and I are very happy together, and we're going to be amazing parents. Joey? You and Joey? But he's a guy, and you're a guy. And what about me? What about our wedding? I lied. It hurts to be lied to, doesn't it? John! You're not going to leave me! You can't do this! John? John! So I let Andrea keep the house. I agreed to pay for the next three months. It was my little Mother's Day present to her. I wasn't going to leave her homeless, after all. But after that, she was on her own. Otherwise, I've avoided contact altogether. She betrayed me in the worst way possible. And even though something very good came out of it, she's still a cheating, lying monster. I wish her all the best. Joey and I settled into family life pretty easily. It's a struggle sometimes, since our relationship is still new and a newborn needs a lot of care. Thank God I was able to get my paternity leave, because I really want to be there for all of Charlie's big moments. And while my wedding to Andrea was never going to happen, there will be a wedding in my future. Joey just proposed, and we're going to tie the knot this summer. People are always shocked when we tell them the story of how we met, but it was all worth it.